Like, come on. Who's barking out there? I know, they barking for this wig, girl. You can't see it, but you can feel it. You can feel it in the ambiance. <laughs> somebody else's hair and guess what it is a wine and wig stay clink 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 mm. girls a lot of sounds happening behind me we're hydrating and drinking water today because this wig had me parched girl I was, it was giving thirsty because what for another wig review and i'm so excited i don't think i've done like a full wig review in a long time so girl we're back and better than ever and we're better than ever with a brand new scalp before we get into all of this i'm gonna ask y'all a quick question do you like me and if you do please subscribe and hit the post notification bell just so you can see every single time i post because i'm coming to you every single week with brand new wigs drama personalities gemini team i switch it up every day for you and my man this is a wear and go wig and i want to say thank you to oq hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video this wig on my head is a gorgeous kinky curly four by six wear and go closure wig now this wig is 20 inches long it's 180 percent density and when i tell you this wig is super duper affordable and perfect for for beginners on the website it's saying 129 dollars and i'm like who are you lying to girl when you pull this wig out of the box you see that it comes with the machine curls and a pre-plucked hairline pre-cut lace and really really tiny knots so it looks the wig comes out of the pack looking ready to go well at least ready to go for some of the girls but you know me i gotta put 20 on 10 and do something to it and when you pop the hood on this wig you can see this wig comes with a piano key elastic band so you can wear this wig exactly how it is glueless adjust it and keep it real tight just in case you're having a really really rough night or a fun night <laughs> you know it's up to you you know what i'm saying like i said this wig is a closure wig but can you tell babes can you tell babe? I didn't have to do much to get this wig to look like this, but of course I had to put my little magic uh, press on nails on top just to give it a little bit of oomph. I'm gonna show you how I styled this wig and how I got this beautiful layered style as well as this really, really cute summertime sort of style as well. So if you would like to see how I styled this wig and get more information on this wig and see what it looked like right out of the box, please keep on watching and I'll be back at the very end with my final thoughts and a coupon code. Okay, y'all, let's go ahead and get started with the glueless base. Of course, y'all already know this is a glueless wig or supposed to be glueless, so I'm not gonna be wasting time trying to do a ball cap method. It ain't, it ain't the vibe. I'm gonna go ahead and use my wig grip, pop that on. And now we can go ahead and try on this wig. Now I haven't tried on this wig yet. So I wanna see what she gives because I wanna see what she looking like. Now this is a wear and go wig. A lot of them look the same. So this is the wig right out of the pack. Look, look at those curls. Oh babe. Oh, oh, I'm so excited. I already have an idea of how I'm going to style this wig. Okay, so let's toss this on and see what she's talking about. What is she singing? Mm, Y'all already know how I feel about wear and go lace. Wear and go lace don't be blending into my skin tone, so I always need to have lace tint in my back pocket. And I feel like with a little bit of lace tint, you could wear the, pop on this wig and go. You could wear it and go. First, we're going to take the lace, then we're going to uh, reflatten the hairline. But as you can see, the hairline is already done. They already pre-plucked it, but the knots are small. So you can't really see them like that, like that, unless you, in my, you can smell my breath. Okay, I don't need you to smell the crest of the Sensodyne in my mouth, so back up. I know y'all sick of me because this is a lace tint that I rave about, but like I said, this is the Kellen Derrick Flawless Illusion by Kellen Derrick Lace Tint Spray in the color medium brown. The reviews are not the best with their shipping, so. What I like to do is pop my wig off, take my lace tint spray, and I spray it inside of the cap. I like to spray it directly on the inside of the lace, and then I'll go ahead and take my uh, makeup brush or some sort of brush of some kind, and then distribute it on the inside just to get that color evenly distributed. And then I'll go over top of the lace on the front side and rub that in as well so we can get a really, really good color, even distribution. Y'all remember what the wig looked like before? I'm telling you, it's gonna blend right into my skin afterwards. So. And then what I like to do is take my blow dryer with a diffuser so the hair doesn't blow all over the place. I blow dry the lace on high and warm until the color is baked into the lace. 
the lace should be dry by now and we're gonna pop it back on and y'all can see the difference what i'm telling you i'm telling you i feel like it's better than makeup because makeup adds texture to me and lace tint just adds the color look at that girl when I, was i lying to you was i lying to you i wasn't lying to you it blends right into the skin girl we're done with the lace now we can go ahead and flatten this hairline now the hairline has already been pre-flattened pre-plucked y'all know me i just got to put a little, a little extra stank on it a little extra umph so i'm gonna go ahead and use my she is bomb collection hair wax stick and i'm gonna use this to flatten the hairline and just get a little bit of that hairline flattened back as you can see like right here it's lace and then cap the way they construct it is like the lace the closure stops here but there's a little bit more lace right there and then it stops so i want to make this hairline look more like this like my natural hairline you see that my natural hairline's right here anyways i'm gonna take the wax stick there's already a little bit of wax on this hairline shout out to oq hair for doing that but the hot comb that i like to use is the red by kiss hot comb i'm gonna take the hot comb first i could pull the wig back over my wig grip and then i take the hot comb and then i flatten backwards y'all have the same routine for every single wig that i wear because it works like i don't have to worry about none of that extra stuff you know so flattening this backwards and i like to take the back of the hot comb this hot comb has like edged ends it's not a it has like riveted ends what do you call that and i do the same thing on both sides just to really get that flotation on the situation you know what i'm saying okay so that's what it looks like after flattening girl we're back and it's glorious so next i need to just flatten in the part a little bit so it's not so hyped up and then we can get to doing the baby hairs because the baby hairs is like one of the most important steps to me now next all we have to do like i said is the baby hairs now we have two types of baby hairs that we need to do we need to do the wig baby hairs and we need to do our natural baby hairs i'm not trying to give closure cliff where it's just like it falls off and then you just got black space girl that's scary let's start with the natural hair and then we'll move into the wig hairs i'm going to use the she is bomb collection uh edge control and i'm gonna use that for my natural baby hairs but i ain't got no edges so i gotta really pull from the depths of my soul to get some baby hairs right here so take a dirty baby hair brush it has to be dirty because i don't want to feel bad over here by myself and i'm just gonna lay down these baby hairs you see that yes don't we love it we love to see it layer down Ooh, babes that's a lot of baby hair, but when I tell you when the wind blow, no girl will know. And next I'll do my wig baby hairs. Now I also like doing baby hairs because it kind of keeps the wig down if you're going glueless. Like, so it's not just floating. Cause sometimes, girl, my head's small. My wig be floating and I don't be liking that. So we got ourselves a baby hair brush and I'm gonna take a comb, you know, just a rat tail, anything. <laughs> Pull some of this hair out because we're gonna trim it down and make some baby hairs i like them pretty small and thin and because this hairline is pre-plucked we can achieve that so next i'm going to go ahead and take some scissors and i'm just going to cut down my baby hairs and i like to cut down my baby hairs really short so i'm going to use my got to be glue gel i've had this for years as you can see i'm squeezing it like toothpaste girl hard i'm going to take some of this gel lay down these baby hairs and I like to continuously brush them down and back till they're like melted into the lace and hairline. And I hope to get some of that gel through the lace so that it can stick. Did you see how that looks? It looks like somebody's edges. Like you can't tell me it don't. And if you do, then I feel like you a hater. So I'm going to take a little bit more gel because I want a little bit more of a hold. Oh. Girl, it's spilling everywhere. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this Eben Wonder Lace Bond Gel. Some of my fingertips and add a little extra reinforcement on there so we can get like a good hold too for the lace because what, what's not gonna happen is the girls ain't gonna snatch this off. You know what I'm saying? They're not. I don't know who would try and snatch off your wig. Hopefully you ain't got no enemies like that. But if you do, girl, <laughs> do this. So they have to tug a little bit harder, that's all. <laughs> I feel like that's good this is the type of baby hairs and type of carrying on i'm looking for so let me go ahead and do the same thing on this side it has to be like in the same place we try and measure it out girl i do math and equations in my head to make sure this is perfect i have 
melted the hairline or I'm melting the hairline. And in the meantime, in between time, we're going to do a little bit of trimation. Y'all know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. You know what? Y'all know I like to trim my wigs. I'm just trying to get rid of like dry ends and all that type of stuff. So I'm going to separate my closure hairs, right? And we're going to do just a little bit of trimming. Just a little bit. Don't worry, girl. We're not going to do too much. It's, for, it's really simple. Check the board. So I'm going to go ahead and take some scissors and I'm going to cut it down. So I'm just cutting it down like a little bit. So just cut the ends off because that's not what you want. And I'm just going to part a little bit away, flip it back. Just a little bit. I'm not trying to do too much. I don't really care too much. And then I'm going to trim it one more again. And that's all, folks. That's how you get the layers that you want. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know if that's really true, but in my head, that's how you get the layers that you want. On the bottom part, just to trim it a little bit, I like to pull the hair around the front. <laughs> Girl, that's hair everywhere right now. I'm just going to take some scissors. Ooh. Here, and I'm just gonna trim. I'm only trimming like an, not even an inch off the bottom. That, see, is that not an inch? Yeah, it's like an inch. Girl, this is about to be real lazy. Cause I just don't feel like doing all that. See how long that hair is? Uh, -uh. So I'm gonna pull this hair upwards like this. Finger comb it a bit. I mean, I guess I can comb it with a comb. This ain't a real tutorial. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Do I know what I'm doing? Yes, but do I really know what I'm doing? No. I'm just gonna chop into it like that. Real slow like. And then do the same thing with this one on the front. I'm gonna do a little bit more of a deeper cut. Slide it down. There you go. Girl, I'm done. I'm not cutting no more than this. Am I gonna cut more than this? Maybe, because this look a little bit jank. Is there a big difference? I don't think so. But y'all see what I'm saying though, right? <laughs> I'm not saying anything. I'm gonna take this part in the front and slide the shears down. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Um, just follow the top closure hairs as a guide and then do the part on the front and then call it a day girl. I'm just, just a little trim here, a little trim there. That's all. Somebody give me, somebody tell me the answers. Me and you So the hair is trimmed up. Now we all we have to do is add the mousse and get this hair together. And then that's it, girl. It's super duper quick. I, now these steps, I be adding extra steps because y'all know it's me. But. So I'm gonna use my Shea Moisture Coconut Hibiscus Frizz Free Curl Mousse to get the curls really moisturized. And then I'm gonna use my Evolve 572 brush, which I've had forever, love this brush. I'm gonna use this to clump the curls together and give it like that really, really good juicy curl look. So. I like to work in sections. So I like to part the hair down the middle and just work on either side. We're going to section this part away just to get this hair out of the way. Usually, you know, I try and go from root to tip, but I think I want a little bit more volume today. So I'm go not going to, I'm going to try not to saturate all of the hair. It takes longer to dry when I do it like that too. So I need to I need to just be a little bit less generous with the Mustiana girl. I'll be I be doing too much with the mousse. I really do. And every single time I complain about it and I do the same thing, which means I don't think I got no sense. And I'm just gonna take this mousse, add it directly to the hair so we don't waste no product, okay? We don't waste money over here. I'm just gonna work it through the hair. And then I'm going to take my Evolve 572 brush. And as you can see, like the curls are already coming together. Okay, and I'm just going to clump it 
clump it, clump it, like so. Y'all see how those ends look? Oh, look how gorgeous. Yes, ugh, we love it. Now, sometimes I like to get all the way up in the roots, but we don't have time for that today. And I'm trying my best to reclaim my time. Shout out to Miss Auntie Maxine. You know what I'm saying? Then comb it out. And this detangles and clumps. So I'm gonna do this all the way through the hair until we get the perfect curl, the perfect clump. And then I'm gonna use my Dyson blow dryer with the diffuser that y'all saw earlier and I'm going to blow dry the hair down. And then that's gonna be it, girl. But I'm probably gonna hit y'all with another style too because together, y'all see that? Ooh, those curls are popping. Look at them. Come on. Baby. So let's keep working through the hair and then I'll see y'all once the hair is dry. Okay, y'all, this is the finished look. And when I tell you, I cannot get over this glueless front that we're in. Cause babes, babe, she's glueless. And it was super duper easy to apply. Why do I look so bright? They are so fluffy, so juicy. There's like a little bit of frizz, a little bit of curl. Like it's, <laughs> I'm sick, I'm sick of me already. Are you? Like, look at this hairline. You can still get away with giving like kind of kind of frontal kind of it's not giving you the same sort of closure that we used to because you know clothes usually stop right here and it's just a hump it's a cliff girl you fall off and there's nothing but cap and and forehead right there let me show y'all the back i just finished look y'all know my hair has been parted down the middle this whole time <clears throat> so let me <clears throat> Like, come on, who's barking out there? I know, they barking for this wig, girl. You can't see it, but you can feel it. You can feel it in the ambiance. <laughs> now let's jump into my second style. Now I wanted to try a second style to see what this wig would look like if I styled her in a different way because I was thinking like little braid moment because we're, tis the season for braids. Y'all know my edges won't let me handle braids. So we're gonna jump into how I styled this wig for the second style, for the braid down, and then I'll be back to close out the video. Okay, for this style, I found a style on Pinterest. I think Arnell Armand did this to her hair and it's so cute, it's so adorable and summertime friendly. And the great thing about this wig is that it's a wear and go wig. This thing stayed on my head and I was able to break it down super easy. So what I did was use the middle part as a guide and then I just parted diagonally. If you don't know how to braid, I'm not sure if you can have somebody else do this, but this style was super duper easy to do. I think it took me 15, 20 minutes at most because I don't know how to part. But I parted with my pinky nail because I don't know how to part with a comb. And I'm just gonna braid the hair all the way back. The great thing after, the great thing about this hair is after trimming this hair, it didn't, um, it was easy to part and comb through. I didn't even have to detangle the hair, girl because I already detangled it. So all I had to do was just braid it all the way down. And the trick for this style was to braid it all the way to the end. And then I kind of swirled my fingers around the ends of the braids to of the braid or the braids to go ahead and get that curly summertime look. I see other girls like on Instagram and the TikTok and all that wearing these trendy styles, but baby, I can't do this with my natural hair and keep it like that it ain't long enough it's too thin it look a fool but this wig it did great now the goal was to make sure i kept it above the closure so the tracks wouldn't show the tracks actually showed in the back but who gonna look that far girl i could have fixed it but i just braid four braids all the way back um didn't really measure but it still ended up really really even and once I braided this last one all the way down as you can see when i put my head down you can see that you can see my wig grip right there my wig cap we can't do that 
not with all these ports, girl. So I'm gonna use my MAC NC50 stick foundation, add that to the part, defines the part. It looks amazing, looks natural. You don't even need glue, baby. Now let's finish up this video. Y'all tell me if you like this style and if you wanna see me do more styles like this, cause baby, I can break. So y'all let me know what you think about this unit down below. Which style do you like best with this wig? Do you just like it big, fluffy, sexy, full? Or do you like the braided style for like vacation and stuff like that? Y'all let me know down below. I think that's all I have to say about this unit. Thank you again to OQ Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. I will leave a link for the unit down below. And also, before y'all leave out the door, I'm not gonna be rude. I'm gonna give you a coupon code as well. So I'll leave the coupon code down in the description box below just so you can get some money off. I'm always gonna let y'all leave a party with a party favor. <laughs> Anyways, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Why did I whisper that? Bye. <laughs>